There's a company putting the finishing touches on a factory where they'll build approximately one new prefab home every working day. On top of that, they're building with steel, have cool designs, and have prices that are more affordable than a lot of the other options I've seen. It isn't every day that I get to see the start of a purpose-built factory this size, but it's really just the tip of what I'm going to show you. The Pod Factory has been building steel frame prefab homes since back in 2017, and this was a rare occasion that I got to visit their current factory and their new factory on the same day. On top of that, I was able to sit down with someone from the company to get the goods on what they're up to and whether or not they've ever considered shipping their homes to other countries. Spoiler alert. They have. If you've been following the channel for the last month, you've likely heard of the Pod Factory. I did a few home tours in their models to show people what they have available, but today I'm going to focus more on what they do and where they're going as a company. The Pod Factory has been building prefab homes for the last seven years and have officially outgrown their current factory. They've maxed out at approximately 100 homes per year in their current space, which is a lot of homes, but they feel they could sell more homes with more capacity. So. New factory it is. This is exciting because a new factory is an opportunity for them to change the way they build. In their current factory, the homes are stationary. Once they start a build, the home stays in the same spot and all the supplies are brought to that home in that spot. Then when it's done, they move it out the door and deliver it to wherever it's going. The new factory is being purpose built, meaning it's built from the ground up to be the pod factory. The size, layout, and overall design of the space all being done to build prefab homes. This will allow them to change how they build and make their build process more efficient, which will lead to higher output Output and the opportunity to explore different markets. I know a lot of people are watching from North America and yes, the Pod Factory is located in Ireland. So I sat down with Garth to find out, among other things, if there's even a sniff of a chance that we'll be seeing these things over here. Before I get to that, big thank you to today's sponsor, Bombas. You may or may not know this, but I take comfort very seriously, starting with what's on my feet. And Bombas backs me up with their 100% happiness guarantee. Comfort, check. I have been running a slides program on my feet for about three years now, but only recently switched over to Bombas. The main reason for the switch was that they're waterproof. I wanted something that I can get wet that isn't porous and will dry fast. Check. Every Bombas item is thoughtfully designed for comfort and the result is lightweight waterproof slides, socks without annoying toe seams, and t-shirts without tags all up in there itching your neck. If being comfortable isn't your entire bag, don't panic because there is a lot more than that here to get behind. With Bombas, one purchased item equals one donated item. I buy they donate. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the one, two, and three most requested clothing items in homeless shelters, and to date, they've donated over 100 million essential clothing items. Thank you to Bombas for sponsoring this video. One purchased equals one donated. New customers get 20% off their first purchase. Just go to bombas.com forward slash carry and use code carry20 at checkout. All right, I'm here with Garth from the Pod Factory. I've spent the day kind of looking around at what they've got going on here. So there's kind of a divide in the industry. Some people build with wood, some people build with steel. How did you guys land on steel for the Pod Factory? Um, obviously because of all the uh, structural integrity of steel yeah. and obviously sustainability of steel. Um, so much stronger than, than timber in, 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 a, in a lighter form. And, and accessibility to it. We can get it easier um, than, than timber, sort of generally speaking. Yeah. Um, we can store a lot more in coils over, over timber right. on site. Gotcha. So it just makes it much, uh, much better for us. The way that the system is put together, um, we don't have any shrinkage, we don't have any swelling, um, timber, over, you know, obviously the steel over the timber. The way you're set up now, I know the pod factory you're saying, I think, started in 2017. You're kind of doing the studs here and building the walls, and then it moves to the other factory where everything's assembled. Yes. I just went to the new factory, which yes. is many, like multiple times bigger than what you're, you're operating out of right now. So how are things gonna change as far as the process goes, the build process of the pods? Um, well, the new factory will obviously allow us to do everything under one roof. Okay. So the steel will be uh, rolled in, in that same factory. Okay. They will be put together. They're going to go onto a table system. 
Yeah. Um, basically a wall making system where the the steel and all the cladding, etc., will all be done on a sort of semi conveyor belt type scenario. Okay. Um, and then it will be put together under the same roof and built into a 3D structure. Uh, okay. Ending up with the pod as it is yeah. with all its cladding, etc. So I notice at the current factory, the, the pods kind of are stationary. They're, the people are bringing all the supplies to the pod. Will the pods move through the factory in, in any kind of factory line, I guess, at the new, the new shop? Yes, so, they, so they, there they'll be in a sort of a production line scenario yeah. where they will constantly move through the factory okay. from, from a start to a finished product. Awesome. Um, right the way through. You mentioned earlier that uh, right now with your current output, you're able to do about 100 pods a year. Correct. How is that going to change in the new space? The new space, we're hoping to, the capacity that we that would probably get to is probably 250 units. 250. So that's where we're trying to scale up to in, in a short time, yes. That's cool. I saw some renderings. Um, so obviously you've got the modern look with the pods, you've got the pod line. I saw some renderings for more of a residential, more like, you know, every neighborhood kind of look and feel. Will that be, is that something you're building now or will that be a new offering in the new factory? That'll be a new offering in the new factory. Okay. And is that going to be an affordable product as well? Um, we're hoping to make it that way. That's yeah. obviously, that's the whole idea of the modular is to obviously reduce costs, reduce time frames of production time. Yeah. Um, being in a controlled environment. So we, we're hoping to give a, a new look product um, at, a, at a more affordable price in a, in a quicker space of time. Since you're doubling your output, Will you be building homes for people outside of Ireland or will it still be like a domestic type offering? No, we're looking to, to look at, uh, at the moment to the UK as well. Yeah. So Ireland and UK. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely on the cards for us. Cool. Now, a lot of my audience, you kind of already answered it, is watching from America. Would there be <laughs> any scenario where you could see shipping homes to the States or Canada or is that not even on your radar right now um we haven't looked at it per se no okay. but uh let's not say that it's not a it's not an option going forwards um okay. it, it would obviously just be an affordability from a shipping perspective right to see whether it would be cost effective to to send it from here okay make sure the numbers work and yes. it makes sense to do gotcha the last question i've got is you know it's still looking like a big empty space over there at the new factory. What kind of timeline are you working with to move in there and start building? Um, we're looking at quarter one for 2025. Okay. And to, things to are To be in there. So we're looking on track at this stage of the game. That's awesome. I'm excited to see it when it's done and see what you guys get up to next because you've obviously got a lot going on over here. No, we have. Yeah. Um, you know, it's quite quite a daunting task at this stage. I'll bet. Try, trying to run between the different processes and, and three three spaces at this stage of the time. For sure. I believe it. So us getting the new facility up and running will, will obviously iron out a lot of problems and um, or frustrations in, in being over three three areas at this stage of the game. I believe you. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, maybe when it's done, I'll pop by again and I can get a tour of the new factory. It'd be cool to see it. Oh, we look forward to it. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Gary. I will definitely be following along with this new factory and I'm looking forward to seeing what it all looks like when it's done. That's all I've got for today. If you like prefab home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.